Okay, let's go over some of the characteristics of the jetting calculator. As you know, it's an Excel spreadsheet. And in this case, it has five different sheets. If you look at the bottom left, uh, there's a tab for Makuni BM, which is also for TM. Makuni TMX, which is also for TMS. Uh, Keyhine, which is the PWK, PE, and PJ and all the Del Ortos except for SHA. And then a, a velocity calculator for figuring out the air velocity through the carb, if you want to know that. This right here is a good uh, guide as far as they tell you what part of the throttle opening uh, different uh, carburetor changes make. In this case, a 10% um, change of the uh, main jet can affect uh, the jetting at the wide open throttle by 20%. It's because the area changes about 20% with a 10% uh, diameter change. Uh, the cutaway, the center of that effect is right about one half, uh, one half slide, which is just a hair bit less than one half throttle. Uh, the clip at three eighths, the needle taper at five eighths. This actually goes down to smaller if you adjust the main jet to compensate for that. Uh, the needle width at uh, three eighths. So you get those four things that are centered around this area right here. And then you've got the idle jet here, and you've got the main jet here. Okay, um, going back to sheet one. What you have is a jetting graph here. The gray graph is the ideal graph, which the program tries to guess at if you say that that no you don't know what you don't know that the main jet that you have in it is is perfect it will guess at the the richness you need at wide open throttle according to a certain main jet size and then the idea is that you're going to you're going to change the values in here to get the the blue graph to match up to the gray graph the gray graph is a straight line if you're using the bike on the street or the trail because you gradually open the throttle most of the time. If right here you put in a number two for racing, that ideal graph, which is what uh, your graph will be compared to in order to graph the red graph, becomes a curve, which means that in between idle and wide open throttle, it's a little bit richer. Okay, and that's because uh, when you're racing, there's many times at which you will just immediately crack the throttle open. And so you want it to be a little bit on the rich side when you do that. So you can choose what type of uh, graph you're going to compare to. And like I said, the, the blue graph is, is the actual jetting according to the data that you've entered here, including the needle and the needle height. And then the difference between those is shown at the red graph. You see the blue graph is lower than the gray. And so the red graph goes below the 1.0 line. This is the ideal. 1.0 means 100% uh, of the ideal. Uh, so dipping below it means that it's, 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 uh, the richness is lower than ideal, which means it's lean. Going above it means it's too rich. Okay, so that explains the graph right here. You've got an entry here for type of exhaust pipe, which is explained on my site. Um, when you enter the needle ID, it will look for that in the, the data section below. It will look through all of these needles here 
And then it, when it finds it, it uses those, those, uh, the data for it and the calculations. And if you misspell it, it won't find it. If you put 4D08, it won't find it. Even if your needle is marked 4D08, it's 08, you know damn well. It's just as, the same as 8. Okay, um, this, right, this line right here is for custom needles. If you have one of these needles and you don't like it and you modify it, let's say you make the beginning angle a little bit higher and uh, a, a less steep angle, you're going to have to measure it every 10 millimeters and put that data in here. This is a conversion between the 4042 main jets and the N100.64 main jets. This is a section for TM, right? This section right here is for TM. Okay, so, yeah, you put in the needle ID, it reads it, it puts in all the data, it, it, uh, and matrix is in with all the other data that you put in and gives you a graph. And of course, um, let's say it's it's too lean at uh, at uh, one quarter to three eighths. Well, you have to go back here to look at what mostly affects that area. This would be one quarter right here. So in this area right here, the thing that mostly affects that is the idle jet. So uh, if you notice when I put Y for uh, telling the program that yes, I have the perfect main jet size in the bike, then it adjusts the, the ideal gray graph to match that uh, top richness that your jetting, uh, the main jet, gives it, okay? If you look at it again, when I put no, you have a difference there at the, the wide open throttle setting, which is mostly dominated by the main jet. This is a real life example. This is my 55cc motorized bicycle. And the program is saying that it should be richer, but the program doesn't take all factors into consideration, and this bike has about a half-size reed valve on it. And so that explains that big difference there. But I know th I know the range is the right size, so I enter Y for yes. Yes, it does have the perfect main jet size in it, and it makes that correction here. Okay, uh, needle jet ID. If you look on my website, where is that? Uh, McCooney. This section out here is the needle jets. The needle jet is the hole in which the needle slides in and out of. So on my VM18 has got an O0. O is this row right here, and 0 is this column right here. So where those two intersect tells you the inner diameter of that needle jet, which in my case is 2.6. But you don't have to know that, but it's, it's handy to have this chart in case you don't know. Uh, there's not maybe Maybe there's not a marking on the needle jet, or you can't take it out, or whatever. You can measure it, and then find out its corresponding ID. You enter that here, and it'll calculate and put right here the uh, inner diameter. The needle shroud height is. Um, let me see if I can find that picture. Where is that? This is a shroud. This half circle extension up at the, the base of the uh, needle jet. It's open on the side of the, uh, the engine and it's, and it's shrouded on the side of the intake. So when that, that vacuum wave hits right here, 
some of it goes down here, and so it pulls out more more fuel. So it accentuates the um, the the jet, the needle jet. So anyway, that height from the base of the venturity. Sometimes these are even recessed farther down. Don't go all the way down to measure in the recess. Measure from the base of the venturi to the top of it.